Hey everybody, it's Joe from PocketNow.com and I'm embarrassed to say but uh, I ran out of battery life on my Nexus One while I was at a very, very important meeting. So, I know I've done a couple of articles on how you can prolong your battery life but today I thought what I'd do is show you some widgets, some things that are built into the operating system and just some hints and tips on what you can do to monitor your battery life on your Android phone, specifically my Nexus One. Come on, let me show you. Okay, let me start by saying that I am running Cyanogen Mod 5.0.6 on a T-Mobile Nexus One. Now that's Android 2.1 for those of you who don't know, but most of what I'm going to show you here is going to apply to the other versions of Android out there. Some of the widgets may not be available on Android 1.5, they may function a little bit differently, and some of the screens may be just a little bit different than what I'm going to show you here. But in general the concepts are going to carry across. So the first thing I'd like to show you is a modification of the stock battery indicator, which you can see on the lock screen of the Nexus One right up here. Now with this mod you'll see, and let me come back in here to the main screen, you'll see that it's got 54% battery life remaining and it shows me that all the time. That's a good indicator of how long I should expect my battery to last. It doesn't tell me in hours and minutes but I can know hey if it's been five hours that uh, I've been running my phone as long as I continue to do the same sort of stuff I should expect to see about another five hours of life out of it which for me is a pretty good day. Um, I'll average anywhere between 8 and 15 hours of battery life on my phone depending on everything that I do. And I have some tips and tricks that I showed you in a previous article you can go back and look for on pocketnow.com. But let's jump right into some other things. First off, let's see where it's getting this 54% number. So I'm going to switch over here to landscape mode to make things a little bit easier for you to see. And we'll go into settings. Once we're in settings, we're going to go to about phone and you'll notice battery use right there. So we're going to select that and look and see. This tells me that I've been running for 21 minutes and 35 seconds since I last unplugged. That was uh, on the car dock in my car on the way home from work. You'll notice that this has a bar chart of how my battery use has been split up. 80% of that has been on display. If you don't have your screen on, you're going to get a lot more life out of your phone. You might not be able to get as much use out of it from a usability perspective, like surfing the web and making phone calls or whatnot, but if that display is off, your notifications are still going to be coming in, your email is still going to be coming in, um, standby is still going to be there, you're going to be able to get and receive phone calls without any problem at all. So when you're running low on battery, turn off the screen, leave it off as long as you can. That's the biggest drain on this phone. Number two is the Android system, it took 6%. Cell standby, 5%. Phone idle, 3%. Wi-Fi, 3%. Launcher, 2%. So you can see the display is the energy hog here. So this is a really good place to start and see, hey, where is my battery being sucked up? What can I do to find a way to fine tune my usage, maybe adjust an app or a widget so that uh, it's not eating the battery quite as fast. Here with display, really the only thing I could do is turn the screen off. So let's go in and look at some widgets now. Let's go back home and we'll come back over here to a, a blank screen that I've prepared for you. What I'm going to do is show you a couple widgets one at a time. We'll go into widgets. First is the battery use widget. All these widgets that I'm going to show you today are free from the Android market. Uh, just go ahead and search for battery widgets. This one does pretty much that. Gives you a battery with a question mark. You tap on it and it takes you right back to where we just were. That's all it does. It doesn't show you how much battery time is available, how much run time, uh, percentage, nothing. That's it. Long press on it, it doesn't do anything. Let's just throw that away. Next, let's go back to another widget here. This is the battery widget. 
This one I like a little bit better. It's got a little picture of a silo, a little battery look to it. Um, kind of nice. It shows me the percentage that I have in the battery and a, a little tiered indicator showing me the various different levels. And you can see the green here is about halfway down, so I've used about half my battery. Nice graphical representation of my battery state. Not too bad. I tap on it. It lets me do a bunch of other stuff. Hit display. It takes me to my sound and display settings. Come back here and do Wi-Fi on, GPS on, Bluetooth. So it gives you a, a, a two-tap um, interface to be able to turn off some of your power hungry uh, apps out there, if you will, Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth. I haven't found much problem with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but if you've got some GPS program that's just always on, turn your GPS off, you'll get a lot more battery life out of it. So all in all, not a bad little widget. That's about all it does. It looks pretty nice. There aren't any skins. You're kind of stuck with what you see here. So let's take a look at the next one. Next up is this widget called Battery Life. Tap on that. I've actually gone in and configured this a little bit. By default, it's just got this nice big bubbly battery. It looks more like a beaker full of green ooze than a battery, but it's still kind of cool. It tells me now that I've got 52%, which matches with my little status bar indicator, and it says that my battery life is good. If you need some way to look at it and see, am I doing good, am I doing bad, am I critical, it's a nice indicator, a, a feel-good word, if you will, to tell you what your battery state is in words. The customizations that I've done is over here I've turned on the options to show me the internal battery temperature, the uh, current millivolts, and what type of battery it is. In this case, the battery is at 82.4 degrees Celsius. It's at 3796 millivolts and is lithium ion. So that's pretty good. Go back in here to the settings and we can show the charging information, show extended info. We'll turn that off just so you can see it. And we can also turn the temperature over to Celsius for those of you who are not in the United States of America. Come back over here. You can pick colors and all kinds of stuff to, uh, to configure how you want your battery status to show up. Here, I kind of like the green, so I'm just going to leave it with that. Uh, when you turn off that extended information, it does make that battery a little bit bigger or a little wider on the screen for you. It still takes up two spots in either configuration, so it's a one by two widget. Does a good job, shows you what you need to know at a glance. Um, all around, pretty good widget, and uh, for free, you really can't beat it. Move on to the next one. We're gonna skip by all these others. This one is called EOE Battery. I don't know what that means. Very simple widget. In fact, you can hardly see it here. Let me move it over here to another area. It's kind of transparent, which is nice. You can see stuff through it, but when showing you the percentage, it's kind of hard to read. Let me see if I can zoom in there for you. Depending on what your background is, hard to tell what that number is. Is it 2? Is it 52? Is it 32? I don't know. Um, so, kind of nice. Clean, thin. I like some of the others better, so let's move on to those. Go back into widgets. We're going to go back past EOE. Went right past it. There's EOE. I've got my other widgets in here. And I think this is my last one called Viz Battery. Viz Battery is a graphical representation of a battery, again. Um, Instead of a green gooey liquid on the inside, it's got this kind of yellowy. Um, it doesn't come across very well in the video, but it's much more yellow than the others were green. Tapping on it only lets you go directly to the battery info, which shows you some uh, different information than what the other screen would give you. Now, you can get to this through the operating system as well, but I'm just going to go over it here because this widget does expose this information a little bit faster than going all the way through the OS to get to it. Shows you the battery state is discharging. The power plug is unplugged. This is good for you to be able to diagnose if you've got a, uh, a bad power cord, for example, or maybe if you've got a uh, surge strip that's turned off and you're not getting any power, even though it's plugged in. That's good to tell you. Battery level, it says, is 52. Of course, that's percentage. The battery scale is 100. I guess that could be changed to 1,000, and then you could have 520 out of 1,000. Don't know why they have that, but hey, it's good to know. 
the battery health is good so I'm wondering if on that other widget if good wasn't the state of charge but if it was the battery health itself I don't know how they get health out of this if there's a way the battery reports if it's having problems I've never seen a battery do that so I'm kinda iffy on if that's a good measure or not the battery voltage we can see now here is uh, 3796 millivolts battery temperature this only shows Celsius which is why I kinda like that last widget because it converts it to Fahrenheit for me at 28.0 degrees it is a lithium ion versus a NICAD or some other battery that I've never seen any of those in Android phones but it's nice that you can tell what kind of battery it is and then the time since boot is 2 hours 53 minutes and counting so let's go back you've also got a one touch access to the display information kinda nice because from here you can go in and turn your see if I can find it turn your brightness down I use automatic brightness almost all of the time uh, it seems to give me a, a little bit more battery life but you could come in and turn that off turn it back on or even manually adjust it all the way down to nothing to eke just a little bit more battery life out all the time because it won't be automatically turning it brighter and less bright as uh, as the environment conditions dictate so kinda nice uh, no skins for it um, I haven't seen any that offer skins but uh, nice little shortcuts to get into some of the more deep information about the battery so that having been said you can see here I've got lots of other widgets on my screens sometime in the not too distant future I'm gonna do some of those uh, widgets I'll talk to you about those let you know why I chose them in the hopes that uh, my decisions might be able to save you a little frustration download time and maybe a little bit of money in the process but uh, back to battery stuff I wanna know about you what do you use that I didn't cover how do you make sure that you don't run out of battery life um, if you can show me in a video what you like about the widgets or maybe there's an app that you like to use that gets you specific battery information I would love to see that go ahead and reply to this video with a video comment or if you don't want to go on camera go ahead and comment right up to me what you like what you don't like if you know what that battery status good means and how that information is achieved and if you've ever had a battery report anything other than good I want to know that too so go ahead and do that spread this via Twitter Facebook and of course go back to our website pocketnow.com and comment there we love it when you participate that helps us be a little bit closer to our community and that's really what pocket now is all about is building community so for pocketnow.com and helping you find out how much juice is left in your Android battery I am Joe Levi